cat. It's a small world, has to be done. Welcome to Disney's Contemporary Resort. This resort is steps away from Magic Kingdom and was the first hotel built in 1971 at the same time as the Magic Kingdom. We have a little over 24 hours here at Walt Disney World. And we're going to make the best of it. In this time that we have, we're going to visit Magic Kingdom and we're going to visit Epcot. So come along with us as we have a magical time. We are on level 12 and our room number is 4832 and we have a theme park view room, which I'm very excited about. So let's go check it out. I'm going to use my magic band to open the door. It's nice to find a Mickey on your bed. I wish someone would do this for me at home. Any takers? I do like this cool little feature they have, which is called Hey Disney. And you can ask it to do anything like you would for Hey Alexa. So you can ask it to do a bunch of things like set an alarm, tell me a joke, what's on evening entertainment, a lot of questions. There's a guide right here that you can use so that you know what kind of things you can ask this cute little Disney Alexa. We've had a little time at the resort. We've had something to eat. We've been able to rest a little bit, but now it's time to don our Mickey t-shirts and head over to Magic Kingdom. But before we go to Magic Kingdom, we're gonna go and get something light to eat in the club lounge. Let's go. Let's go. The nice part of being on club level is we have access to the club lounge. And so for dinner tonight, it's just some light hors d'oeuvres, just something to hold us over until we get to the park. And plus we've never done this before, so we wanna check it out and see what's available. There are some light offerings for dinner in the contemporary club lounge. I didn't really feel like it was anything to write home about, but there was plenty to drink, there was water, there was seltzer, there was chips, there was crudite. The Mickey bars honestly were the best part because I felt like we can grab a Mickey bar anytime we wanted to. And with Mickey bars being over six dollars in the park, we took advantage of this and really enjoyed it. Other than that, we didn't really find a whole lot to eat. There was some chicken nuggets and roasted potatoes and broccoli and some apps. It was enough to hold us over until we got to the park. It did hold us over for a while. We really didn't eat anything till after the fireworks. Like we said, what's nice is you can walk from the contemporary to Magic Kingdom. And that's where we're headed. So like we said, when we arrived today, we got at the resort, we checked it out a little bit, we ate a little something, and then we took a rest because tonight there's extra magic hours for guests that are staying at Deluxe Resort. So we took a gamble and we were like, well, let's go into the park later and see how we do because we're not going to go to everything. We don't need to do the park from sunup to sundown anymore. We just don't. I don't have it in me anymore. It is seven o'clock and we just arrived at the park. The walk over from 
Contemporary was so easy. It was five minutes, and there's a whole separate security you go through when you walk from the Contemporary, so you don't have to go through the main gate security. It's 7 p.m. The park closes for guests staying at Deluxe Resorts at midnight. We will see if we make it to midnight, but we want to see how much we can get done in this period of time. We have five hours. We'll probably grab a little something to eat, but I think we can get some good You can get done. a lot done in five hours. And I hope that the crowds are lighter the more the night goes on. And after 10 o'clock, it's only deluxe resort guests. So right. I'm hoping between 10 and midnight, it's just deluxe resort guests and that the wait times and the crowd levels go really down. But we'll let you know. So come along with us as we see how much we can do in this next five hours. So from the time we got to the front of the park to toward the back of the park to Adventureland, parts of the Caribbean went up to a 50 minute wait, 5-0. We are not waiting for that. We're from what? Wait from 30 minutes, <laughs> so now it's 50 minutes. So we're not waiting for that. We're gonna try it later. Hall of Presidents. We are waiting to see the fireworks. It's Happily Ever After. It's the first time we're seeing Happily Ever After since they brought it back. It's the best show. It's just the fireworks and the projections and the music. Oh, it warms my heart. So we're excited to see Happily Ever After. break um wanted mansion 10:36 see how long it takes to get on okay that was bad that was 7 minutes wow what did you change It's a small world, has to be done. 11 o'clock, it's a small world. Can't skip it, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> it is a small world. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to get that song out of my head all night. You got something to say? Prince Charming, Carousel, 1027. How to ride these horses. <laughs> okay, mine train. It's 11.28. It says it's a 50-minute wait, 5.0. So this might be our last ride, but it's a great way to end. So we'll let you know. Got to do Seven Dwarves mine train. So they said 50 minutes, and that was less than a half an hour. It was about 25 minutes. Not bad at all. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Yeah. Okay. And our last one, we made it in. <laughs> 158. We made it on the last ride. And what a sweet way to end with Winnie the Pooh. Okay, it's 10 after 12 and we are wiped, but we did a lot. We did Pirates of the Caribbean, we did Haunted Mansion, we did It's a Small World, we did Prince Charming's Carousel, we did Seven Dwarves Mine Train, and we did Winnie, Winnie the, the Pooh. Pooh. <laughs> I think that was pretty good because we started a little after 10. We did it, honey. Oh, we did it. I had faith in us, I knew we could. <laughs> I knew that nap this afternoon would help. <laughs> We're not too old yet. We shut down Magic Kingdom. All right. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> and don't go anywhere because we'll see you tomorrow. Our second day here, but we have not been here those 24 hours. So this morning, we're going to run over to Disney Springs and see if we could do any damage by spending any money and getting some souvenirs. Then we're going to head back here to the Contemporary Resort, spend a little time in the pool, enjoy the resort, and then go to Epcot. And we have a dinner reservation at Epcot at somewhere we've never eaten before. So we're excited about that.
Since we're staying at club level, breakfast is included and is served in the club lounge. There's also a light lunch, a snack in the afternoon, as well as a light dinner with appetizers and things like that. And now we're headed off to breakfast at the club lounge. There really are some pretty good breakfast choices. There's bagels and croissants. They had bacon and eggs and cereal. They had a great selection of coffee and tea. And I really felt like breakfast is where club level shines for sure. And we're glad we got to eat before we left for the day. Disney Springs is a shopping, dining, entertainment destination just moments away from your resort, either by bus or by car. Our first stop while we're at Disney Springs is World at Disney because we're going to see if we can find some souvenirs. Now, spoiler alert, we did find a couple of t-shirts that we liked, but other than that, we really didn't get anything else. Our next stop is Gideon's Bakehouse. And for us, this is something that we cannot miss because the cookies are delectable. And we always get a few to take them back to the resort with us. Because Gideon's is so popular, there's usually a line to get in. And if the line gets too long, they'll set up a virtual queue. And there's usually somebody there taking names to add you to the queue. So check that out when you go. We decided to make a quick stop and get something to eat at Deluxe Burger. We're going to share a burger and fries and it looks delicious. I've always wanted to eat here. I'm so glad we decided to stop at Deluxe Burger and try this burger and fries because it was so good and it was big. So I'm so glad we decided that we would share it, but it was delicious. Now it's time to head back to the Contemporary to spend some time in the pool. Oh, the pool's right there. <laughs> so we are headed out to the pool just to relax and spend some time before dinner tonight. While the sun is hot. Yes, and okay. it is hot. It is hot. I'm going to stay. I'll tell you in the pool. What I was going to say was, this might be controversial, but if you don't have to come to Disney World in the summertime, don't do it. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> now, we understand that some people, it's the only time they can travel in the summertime, but if you don't have to, choose another time of the year because July and August are brutal. <laughs> That's my public service announcement for today. Thank you. You'll thank. So Judy is going to go climb the slide and give it a go. So here we go. She's up top there. <laughs> hey, there she is. You did it! That was faster than it, a little bit faster than it looks. <laughs> very good, very I'm good. Fully wet now. Well, that was frustrating. Tell us more. We got on the monorail at Contemporary, and it takes you to the Transportation and Ticket Center. And then if you're going to Epcot, you have to transfer monorails. So we got off that monorail, we have to get on another one, which makes total sense, but we just missed it. The door is, it's sitting right here, and the door is closed on us, and a bunch of other people too. So now <laughs> we have to wait for the next one to get to our dinner reservation at Epcot. <laughs> well, sometimes these things happen. That's true. You have to allow these kind of this kind of time. Yeah. Here we are, honey. Epcot. <laughs> There it is. So we're having dinner tonight in Epcot in San Angel Inn, which is a Mexican restaurant right in the Mexico Pavilion. And we're really excited about it because we've never eaten here before. We've been in here many, many times, but we've never eaten here. And it's beautiful in here. It's Mexican cuisine. And we're really looking forward to it. We started out with a recommendation from our server that wasn't on the menu. It's a trio of guacamole, queso, and spicy salsa with some chips, and it was delicious. For dinner, Mark had the pollo a las rajas, which is grilled chicken breast, roasted potatoes with peppers and other vegetables. I had the tacos with steak with plantains on the side. Overall, we thought the dinner was delicious. Before we leave Epcot, we definitely have to check out the new Moana attraction, Journey of Water. We're very excited. It's brand new. 
There was walls up in Epcot for years, and they're years. all down, and a lot of it was to build this attraction. So we're going to go check it out, and we'll let you know what we think after. <laughs> Moana Journey of Water was very cute. They had a lot of water features, jumping water. We walked through a curtain of water, <laughs> which stops when you walk through magically. They did such a nice job. There's Tafiti. If you're familiar with the movie, it was a great attraction for sure. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was fun. It was, we're happy we did it. So is staying at club level at a Disney deluxe resort worth it? That's what we're going to try to attempt to answer. First of all, I think staying at a deluxe resort, if you can do it, is definitely worth it. It places you closer to the parks. It gives you more amenities. For us, we really enjoy that and it's worth it to us. But was staying at club level worth it? So club level includes the club lounge that I said earlier has some breakfast, lunch, light snacks, and some light dinner. If you were to stay at club level at the Contemporary Resort for two nights, let's say for two nights in September, it probably would be about $2,200 for two adults. If you were to have that same theme park view room but not stay at club level, it would be about $1,700 for two adults. Again, these prices are totally subject to change and they're based on dates, but I'll leave it up to you whether it's worth it to pay that extra five or $600 dollars for the amenities and food that comes along with staying at club level. Well, this morning ends our very fast and whirlwind trip to Walt Disney World. It was fun. We did a lot and now we're ready to move on to the next. We'll see you in the next video. So we have a little over 24 hours here at the Magic Kingdom. No at Walt Disney World. So, we have a little over 24 hours here at Magic Kingdom. No, at Walt Disney World. So, we have a little over 24 hours here at... Walt Disney World. So, we have a little over 24 hours here at Walt Disney World. So, we have a little over 24 hours here at Walt Disney World. <laughs> Come on, I'll say uh, No, no, no. <laughs> but before we go to Magic Kingdom, we're gonna go and get something to eat in the club lounge. But before we go to Magic Kingdom, we're gonna get something to eat in the club lounge. Something light to eat. Light dinner. to eat. But before we go to Magic Kingdom, we're gonna get some light dinner at the club lounge. But before <laughs> we go... Wait, stop, be more natural. But before we go to dinner... But before we go to dinner... <laughs> <laughs> Let's go.